everyone and welcome back to my channel Jess Chillin' About. Today Trav and I are doing something very exciting. Do you want to let them know what it is? So basically we are going to be doing South African sweets. Is that what they call it? Sweets? Sweets? I guess yeah. that's what your yeah, mum calls sweets. them. She yeah. calls them sweets. But we're doing the South African sweet test. So we'll start off with jelly tots. So now I remember these as a kid. I'm not entirely sure if they are just South African. I know you can find them overseas in places. Um, but yeah, I remember them as a kid, so they're South African to me. <laughs> I want them all. Oh, this brings back memories. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm not really the biggest fan of jelly tots. I feel like they're too gooey in a way. I definitely prefer wine gums over them if you guys know what wine gums are. Um, so I think I'm going to have to give them maybe a five and a half, a six, no, five and a half out of ten. Just because there's not that much flavour there either and I don't really like the texture. Yeah, I guess jelly tots really are just like a little gummy thing coated and coated with and sugar. Coated. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Like each colour has a slightly different flavour but it's not a strong flavour. So I'd go with a 7 because I do like jelly tots. I have always liked jelly tots and I will continue to like jelly tots. Um, so we'll go with fizzes next. Um, so the flavours we have are cream soda Ooh. and strawberry. I want to try so strawberry. So you can try the strawberry because I know that you don't like cream soda. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of cream soda. Whereas I love cream soda. <gasps> it smells good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're into it already. Oh, I love fizzles. Oh my gosh, you almost ate it all. Okay, so I just tried the green one, didn't like that. I would give that one a 4 out of 10. But the strawberry one, it's kind of sherbety, isn't it? It was a really nice flavour, it was a really nice texture, and the, it was a little bit sherbet so it was kind of sour. Um, so I think I'd give that one a 7.5 out of 10. I personally am a big fan of the cream soda flavour, so I really <laughs> like that one and I always have. So I'll give that one an 8 he out of 10. He almost finished it. An 8 out of 10? Well, when we were little, we used to just take them out, roll it up into like a ball and just shove the whole thing into your mouth at once. So, oh my gosh. Yeah, eating the whole thing is not a big deal to me. Mm. Um, and the strawberry one's good as well. Um, it was obviously a little more melted. But I like the strawberry one as well, so I will give that one a 7.5. Alright, so... What's next? Next we'll start on some chocolatey type things, so we'll go with the bar one. It's basically a Mars bar by the looks of it. Yeah, it's kind of like a Mars bar. Which is good because I quite like Mars bars. Oh wow, it really is a Mars bar. It's uh, got... Mars bar? Or... Yeah, Mars, Mars bar, bar, yeah. yeah. Oh, it smells good. Tastes different to a Mars bar. Tastes a little more nutty. I think it's the chocolate. The chocolate in a Mars bar is a lot nicer. It wasn't manufactured in South Africa, so maybe they use different chocolate and stuff. But I like that. I like chocolate. I like Mars bars, so I'll go 8 out of 10. I think I'm going to give that one a 6 out of 10. Alright, so the next thing is the Peppermint Crisp Chocolate. This I haven't really seen anywhere else. I've only ever seen it in South African shops or down in South African South African sections. Okay, so we've got some here. I'm going to take a bite and then Trav will have the rest of it. Oh, it's crispy. Mm. The um, inside of the mint looks like it's melted at some stage between South Africa and New Zealand. It, that's why it's a bit crisp. So chewy. Mm. It might be crisp because it's a peppermint crisp. Mm. <laughs> I don't remember it being that like crunchy. What do you think of that one? Um, I quite like the flavour of it. I think it's just the texture like the consistency of it that I don't really like too much so maybe I'll give that one a six and a half seven out of ten yeah I'd say six and a half is a good score for that all right next on the list is a chocolate lock cute poo related jokes now <laughs> so this it says is creamy marshmallow on crisp wafer covered in milk chocolate in other words it sounds amazing Mm, 
taste stale. The wafer does taste stale. Is there a date on here? Oh. It it should be fine, but... Hmm. Still in full dry place. I think barring the stale wafer, I think it's really nice. I think if it wasn't stale tasting, I'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I think that's a fair, fair call. Right, so next are Fizz Pops, so we've got two of them. This one is a cream soda one, and this one is apple flavoured. So apparently we need to bite into it to get into the middle. What's in the middle? So in the middle is the fizz. Ah, is it sherbet? The only thing with them though is that, obviously coming from South Africa, is that sometimes the sherbet inside like calcifies, oh, yeah. and so it doesn't end up coming out as like a powder. It's a very average apple taste. Should I bite into it? Yeah. Oh, really hard. <laughs> ah! Oh! No! The way my boots caught it. <laughs> ow. Ow. It looks like glass. It just looks like I've got glass. Glass? I can't talk, it's in my mouth. Glass shards all over my chest. Okay, so the outer bit of that I did not like at all. I would probably give it a 1 out of 10. It did not taste like apple. It was just syrupy almost. But the inside was really nice. The inside fizzy stuff actually tastes like apple. So the inside stuff I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10 because um, that was nice. But the lollipop itself overall, mm, maybe 4 unfortunately. Yeah, I didn't quite like the flavouring on your one either. I don't know what was up with that but it didn't really taste like apple at all. Mm. Um, but the cream soda one I like, I <laughs> thought, so I'd probably go with an 8 out of 10. Okay guys, so we've got one last thing and this is something that I actually picked up from the South African shop and it's this. Now this, if you can't tell, is actually an apricot shaped and looking sweet I guess. And we asked the guy in the shop and he said that it's apricot with marshmallow on the inside and that is not something I have ever come across. It feels pretty solid. It does smell just like apricot. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so different. That's so weird. Tastes like apricot, but the texture is like a marshmallow. No, I wouldn't say like marshmallow. It's very hard. I don't know. A solid marshmallow? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a solid marshmallow. I quite like this. It's, right. it's so interesting. It's so different to anything I've ever tried. Um, I think I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I'm not the biggest fan on apricots. I don't really like apricots, but this is really cool and it's really different. So yeah, I'd go 8 out of 10 I guess as well. Hmm. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed our video. That is the end of the sweets section for <laughs> our South African reviews, taste tests, whatever. Um, so. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and look out for the other ones that we're going to be doing very soon. Hey, Ben. Yeah, we've got um, a South African drinks test, we've got a South African chips test, and we're going to be doing like a fresh South African food one. So if you guys want to see those, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye! If we don't get diabetes. Diabetes. Mm -hmm.